question that often gets asked is the difference between phase one and phase two P25. One of the original goals of P25 was spectrum efficiency. The radio spectrum is a limited resource. There are only so many radio channels that can be licensed in a given area. Analog FM channels used to be 25 kilohertz wide. As the spectrum became more full, narrowband channels were introduced. These were 12.5 kilohertz wide and doubled the amount of spectrum available so long as everyone migrated away from wideband channels. P25 Phase 1 was designed to use the same bandwidth as a narrowband FM channel. This means they could be used side by side and narrowband FM channels could be gradually replaced by P25 digital channels. Phase 2 is more spectrally efficient than Phase 1, providing two effective channels per 12.5 kHz bandwidth. In P25 Phase 2, each physical base station provides two effective voice channels. It does this by using TDMA, or Time Division Multiple Access, where two independent conversations share the same channel. Another benefit of P25 Phase 2 is longer battery life. Because of the TDMA, the transmitter is actually only on half the time during a transmission, and this effectively increases the battery life of the portable. Phase 2 is backwards compatible with Phase 1 radios. So this allows a new Phase 2 radio to still operate with users of Phase 1 P25 equipment and to operate on Phase 1 network equipment. However, it's important to realise that Phase 2 is currently only available for trunked P25 operation. For radio-to-radio -radio conventional P25 operation, Phase 1 is still used.